Grand rising, grand arrival, grand return. Peace and blessings to the righteous and repentant alike. I'm Sophia Tyke of the Americana Band of Indians. And this is a energy update. Um, today is October the 17th. It is the Aries full moon. And I just wanted to, um, first and foremost, um, co congratulate everyone who's been following us um, on this channel for at least the last year. We have officially gone through a full lunar cycle. We basically started our um, lunar reports with the um, Aries full moon last year. That's when I first did my first written report, presentation, whatever. Um, and uh, we've completed a whole cycle. So if you stayed with us, um, even if you didn't um, choose to come over to our group and, you know, get the reports every month, um, some months I did make public. And so anyway, you guys have uh, successfully made it through a year. And so I just want to congratulate everyone on that. Um, it takes a lot of hard work and dedication to um, really know yourself. And so one of the things that I want to talk about um, in relation to what it is that I do and how it is that I do it and um, why it is, is I want to talk about the ascension process. Now, I'm not typically an individual who discusses that kind of content um, regularly because I believe that it has been hijacked by the spiritual community and, um, you know, basically watered down to basically nothing. <clears throat> Therefore, uh, you know, ascension could be anything like, okay, you know, you woke up this morning, that's an ascension. Like, come on, man, it, it does have a meaning. And so as I've been interacting with different kinds of people with from different backgrounds um, and even from different age groups, I have um, come to the conclusion that number one, ascension is not difficult. Let's start with that. Ascension is not hard. It's not spooky or complicated. It's not, um, you know, mystical, uh, magical, or anything like that. It's practical. Every time you learn, learn a new skill, every time you do a new thing, that is a type of ascension. And so what they have done is turn into something that's, you know, less than practical, less than normal. Um, and if you observe plants growing, you will see that they are always ascending. They're, they're in a constant ascension process because as their roots grow deeper, which we cannot observe, um, they grow taller. They get new things. And sometimes um, plants get stressed out, especially plants that I grow. <laughs> um, plants get stressed out. And what happens is uh, the leaves or the plumage that they have on the outside also reflects that. It, it gets yellow or sometimes it dies off and you have to prune it back and so on and so forth. And so that's exactly what the ascension process is like for us. Um, as we develop ourselves deeper on the inside, we um, show that more on the outside. So that's a practical thing. The problem that I see people have um, that we address in various ways um, on this channel and over here in general is that they don't actually know what the energy feels like. Um, I've spent um, 28 days deep diving into lunar energy. And during the deep dive into the lunar energy, um, I have discovered for myself what the energy feels like. So I'm in the process of um, developing a, um, a lunar program that we're going to do. Part of it is going to be public for the uh, general ascension of the general public. And then, of course, there's going to be um, 
a more in-depth part because there's no way I could um, put everything that I learned into um, something that can be publicly accessible. We're going to do a public part and then we're going to do a non-public part. And that's going to start with the um, Taurus um, full moon. We're going to, that's, that's when that information is going to be presented. Um, I don't know if the private information is going to be ready for then, but the public information is going to be ready. So it's going to be um, daily videos for 28 days, um, probably around 2 o'clock p.m., 1.55 p.m., something like that. And it's just going to talk, do a brief discussion of the energy for the day. Um, on the daily transmutation reports, I'm not going to go into the deep dive of the energy on the lunar cycle for the day because it's a little bit too much. Um, it does all go together, but I'm almost really thinking I'm going to do a totally separate set of videos just for the lunar um, cycle uh, because there's just no way that you can... Um, It's almost impossible to talk about the roots of a plant and how the roots grow and talk about the fruits of a plant and how the leaves grow in the same conversation. That's just the conclusion I come This It's almost impossible because the what's going on beneath the surface is totally different than what you see on the outside. You don't see the hidden treacherous things the communication you just you just can't see it uh you will know a tree by its fruit but you won't know a tree by its roots the roots and the fruits are kind of like disconnected which is why um we have a roots of the tree reading that covers um your childhood um inner child is a better way to describe to describe it your inner teenager which is a new term i've heard people talk about um that that's the roots of the tree reading then we have a fruits of the tree reading which covers um 18 to 27 and then 27 to 36. so if you've got a reading from me, then what I'm saying doesn't sound too foreign because I talk about the roots of the tree separately from the fruits of the tree. They don't, they meet in the middle at Malkuth, but they don't actually, um, they don't necessarily reflect each other. And then the progressions, that's like each little piece of fruit that grows on the tree. So, um, if you have the readings from me, you can print out the pictures and you can see, um, and I might do this and, and talk about it. This is the roots of the tree. This is the fruits of the tree. These things meet in the middle. And then the progressions are like, like I said, like the actual fruits that grow off the tree. Um, and so there's no way that I can put that all together. First of all, it's immensely confusing. Second of all, um, the energy doesn't exactly feel the same either. Um, it's similar, but not really the same. And even the timing is not exactly the same. So I was talking about in the public facing Aries um, full moon uh, astrotherography, how you have... Um, Certain energy, even with the transmutations, right? Because <laughs> Let me just put it this way. Certain energy that comes into this realm is reflected. Certain energy comes directly. You have 28 degrees or 30 degrees in every zodiac sign from zero to 29. That is purely solar energy because each different cycle has 30, 20, zero to 29 degrees. And it's pretty specific every day, 
every 24 hours, we get into a new degree. When you talk about the lunar energy, which is like the daughter, and the solar energy is like the sun, and the lunar energy is like the daughter. And remember, um, Jesus said, our brother, he said that he was going to send the comforter. Well, that's what the lunar cycle is. It is the comforter um, because it is consistent. And you know that there's for every new moon, there's going to be a full moon. There's no getting around that. It's, 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 it's guaranteed because you've seen it every single day of your life. You know that. And I feel like that was probably the comfort that was released unto the people, the understanding what that means. And so you have 28 days on a lunar cycle. Um, and I, I look, even though <clears throat> every seven days of a lunar cycle makes through one quarter of a solar cycle, right? So like Aries, Taurus, Gemini, that's one quarter. Um, seven days gives you that one quarter of energy in the course of seven days. Um, because of the speed of the energy and uh, and the little things that need to be done. So basically, let me put it this way. The lunar cycle is the roots, which I already said that, but just to reemphasize, the lunar cycle is the roots of the tree. Those things you don't, you have to study that for a long, I'm still a novice, so I can't give no, you know, long dissertation on how this energy works because I'm literally new to this, but you can't like study no little, um, the, you can't study the roots for one tree cycle and think you understand all trees. Whereas with the solar cycle, you can go through the pro the process of studying, you know, one total revolution around the sun. And if you are in tune with the energy, you will understand what's going on. You'll have a general like understanding. After 28 days of studying the moon, I am still the same amount of novice I was 28 days ago. I find this cycle to be... Um, it's not difficult. Difficult is not the right word. And you know, we might not start with the Taurus full moon. We might, we're going to start with the Gemini full moon because we're going to wait until the third cycle. That's what I did with the um, daily transmutation reports. Um, that's how I'm going to do the lunar cycle. It's going to be the same. So we're going to start with the full moon in Gemini. So not in November, but in December. Um by then hopefully i'll have more of a handle on it this energy is very um no well yeah it still would be the um full moon in taurus because we'll start the day the day after the full moon so yeah it'll still be next month that'll be one two that'll be the third cycle okay so this will give me enough time to try to wrap my mind around this cycle because like it's not easy and since i've been doing this by myself like no one is actually working on this with me it's been quite difficult to pinpoint what the energy is and then how to express it to someone else because some of the stuff is is this from the solar side of the energy and it's from the lunar side of the energy so the point being overall the <laughs> The, the 14 minutes has taken me to get to this point. If you have not gotten a reading from me and you would like to tap into the lunar energy for abundance, for manifestation, for making your life better, for putting yourself on track, for really understanding the energy that's assigned to you, um, you need to email me. My email is in the description box. My website is not available right now. My email is in the description box. The price is um, like $220, $250, something like that, depending on if you've got any of the, anything else from me, I kind of try to bundle it together and make the prices lower. So um, if you haven't gotten a reading from me um, and you want to actually like maximize this energy, um, 
you're going to have to go and do the research yourself. Look at my old videos. I explain how I do every single thing that I do. Um, you might not be able to channel what I can channel because in my readings, I do a written part and then I have a channeling part. So what y'all see, you know, you could still get a handle on your energy. So the problem I see with people in their ascension process is they have absolutely no idea what the energy is like. And because everyone has made it totally non-practical, um, whenever you're like, oh, I know what that energy is, um, they don't, you, 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 I know it when someone describes what's going on, I know what the energy is because I know what my energy is. The only way that you can ascend is if you know your energy. If anybody is telling you that you're ascending because you know this other one's energy, you know that energy, you read books, you whatever, that has nothing to do with your ascension. The only way you can ascend, the only way a tree can bear fruits is if it has strong roots. And if you don't have strong roots, meaning you don't know your own energy and then the energy of the people around you and then, you know, the greater society, you have no uh, hope or possibility of ascending. And basically, a lot of these spiritual people are telling you all to look at everything else and read 10,000 books and you don't understand your own energy. So I'll give you a perfect example using myself. Now, another thing that you can do is we do have a um, a galactic channeler um, who uh, does light languages um, and downloads light languages and can download information into you that will help you to understand your energy. Um, and her services are about 150 to $200, depending on what you need. And so if you're interested in that, you can send me an email. I'm going to do another group session for anybody who is interested in um, um, seeing what a session with her is going to be like, what to expect and, and to get a feel for her energy um, because she's not on YouTube yet. I'm you know, trying to work with her for that. Um, and of course, once her videos are available, I'll let y'all know. But if you want to get, uh, if you're trying to accelerate your ascension process, um, you can email me and say, you know, you want the light language activation. I've done three. Um, I'm getting ready to do another one. Uh, the light language activation, like I mentioned in another video to me is even more profound than the, um, the, uh, subconscious regression. However, <clears throat> what I will say about that is I do believe people should get subconscious regressions. At first, I oh, they don't need it. But if you don't know your energy, you need a subconscious regression because you got to figure out what your energy is. So meaning if you can't, if you have dreams and you still can't really interpret them, you might need a subconscious regression because that will show you what's going on. So like for me, my subconscious regression, um, which I made a video about this, just talking about my experience was all about me being at home, like literally being at home in my area where my ancestors are buried. And so I know that when that kind of stuff comes up, that's going to be in my subconscious. If you are an entity, um, you know, or a being who's not from this land, your subconscious regression is going to reveal to you where you're from. <clears throat> Excuse me. Your subconscious regression is going to reveal to you where you're from. So if you don't know where you're from and you want to know where you're from, go over to Q Reeves channel, get a subconscious regression from him. It's about 250 and it's worth it. So that you can know where you're from. Once you have an understanding and you've researched that. Um, and of course, I recommend recording any session that you get with a healer so that you can go back and review it because they're not going to be able to interpret your sessions. Only the Holy Spirit can interpret your sessions. So you're going to have to you're going to have to go within into your energy to interpret your sessions. They can't interpret your sessions, especially if they're not from where you're from. I can interpret a lot of people's sessions because I'm a native to the land and because I'm native to the land, I understand 
um, a lot of different realms because I understand being that this is the only place that people can incarnate. So anything that I need to know, I can find within this realm. Um, and a lot of people don't believe that, so they can't actually have access to that. But, um, you know, this is what we do over here. Um, so there's not really no explanation needed to that. Um, so if you're familiar with your energy, though, and you know where you're from and you know who you are, and a lot of people are trying to figure out who they are and where they're from without working with people. Um, and if you've been following the daily um, transmutation reports, you will understand that you cannot do this without other people. There's no way because everybody has a different piece. There's no uh, one person who has it all. So even though I have a corner piece where it's like, oh, I understand this. The, the I understand Aries, Taurus, and Gemini. I got one quarter. Like, that's a corner piece, but it's only one quarter. I still don't have a full understanding of everything. I'm a young person. I got a lot to learn. And, um, and if I'm a young person who has a lot to learn, there's no way that one single healer is going to be able to tell you everything. But I can tell you one thing you need in order to know who you are, you really need to, 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 if you, and you don't astral travel because you could probably figure it out like that. Um, meaning a lot of air, I mean, a lot of air signs and fire signs, they probably don't need, um, they probably don't need light language activations. They probably could do it on their own. Anyway, I'm not, I'm just off the topic. If you don't know where you, where you're from, if you're not a hundred percent sure where you're from. I'm a hundred thousand percent sure I am a native of the land. I am, I am from this land. A hundred percent sure. One hundred. I don't, I don't have any question about that. Okay. But if you're not a hundred percent sure, you need to do a subconscious regression. And wherever you are in your subconscious regression, that is where you're from. Hands down. Okay. Next. Once you're sure where you're from and you have a handle on that, you should do a light language activation. The light language activation will help you to accelerate your extension. What does that mean? When you get the light language activated, that puts your roots in deeper, which means your fruits can produce faster. A lot of people are trying to manifest with no roots. Mantras can work, but mantras won't work if you don't know who you are. You have to know who you are to say the correct mantras. As a native to the land, I can use the Indian mantras. They work just fine. But what works better for me is scriptures. Because scriptures are from the land. They're, they're a part of the land. You look in the land and you see the scriptures. When you do the Vedic or the Hindu, you know, mantras, you can't necess necessarily see that in the land. And so it works for me. But what works better is like literal scripture, the literal promises written in a literal book, because I'm an earth sign. It's very literal. It's very direct. The mantras are more like kind of airy fiery you know what i mean like they're they're in the other side so that work that will probably work for a lot of people with a lot of air signs with a lot of fire signs it's just mantras and incense if you are earth sign the promises in the book is probably going to be uh better for you to ground into the the looking out on the earth and seeing the scriptures seeing the scriptures and everything that's probably going to work better for you in the fairy tales um you know what i mean and so People are trying to manifest anything, but they don't have any roots. You have nothing from which to draw your um, energy. Yes, you do draw energy from the sun, but the but you draw it from the sun and send it to the roots, and the roots transmute it. The lunar energy transmutes it and sends it back out. It's a it's like this is how the heart works. The energy comes in. The heart transmutes it and it sends it out. 
pumps it through your blood, your body is the literal, it, your body is the literal, uh, thing, um, Malkuth, the thing, the, the earth. So you're bringing in the, the, the galactic energies from the solar, you're, uh, sending it through the roots, which is your body. And then you're sending it down into the ground to create stronger roots. So if you don't understand that process, if that sounds like foreign to you, how can you manifest? What people are, how people are manifesting that they're leaving out the details is that they also have a lot of other esoteric knowledge and practical knowledge. This is why if you've never grown a plant or killed a plant like me, uh, <laughs> if you've never birthed a child, then this is probably foreign to you. You need to grow some plants so that you can understand how to take something from um, a, a, a dead state, which is a seed, to a living state where it's producing something. People have this knowledge, but a lot of our people don't. And so you can't produce, you can't manifest if you've never observed a plant, how a plant grows. If you don't understand how the heart works, you cannot manifest. Your mind has to know the process. And I know that people believe that that's not actually true <clears throat> for whatever reason. But I know for a fact, your mind has to know the process. If your mind does not know the process of manifesting, you can never manifest. Or your manifestations will be perverted or stolen because you will be thinking that you're manifesting one thing, but you're manifesting something totally different. <clears throat> Jeez Louise. Is this a sign? This thing ain't even ready to pour. I need some water. I'm going to add some water to this. Um, I can't even pour it out. You have to, I knew that, I didn't bring my water with me. You have to be able to, integrate and transmute within yourself on the inner part that can't be seen and also on the inner part that you you are collaborating with other people because one thing that people don't understand i mentioned this too in a video recently <clears throat> i don't know what's going on with my voice when trees grow plants grow underground right they the root system can extend for miles right And it intertwines with other trees' root systems. And so if you're not intertwined with other people, good and bad, how can your roots grow? Like, you have to look at nature. Nature is the example for how to manifest in reality. Not just the childbirth process, which is a lot of this is, is drawing into your ancestral line. When you birth a child, when you plant a tree it's drawing into the ancestral line, that's in the actual ground. And so you need both. You're not going to get one without the other. It just, it doesn't work that way. And so, um, I only make this video because, uh, a lot of people are going to need to manifest things right now. They don't have the capabilities of manifesting it because they don't understand how things work. They don't understand their own energy. So you need to sit with yourself, with your own energy and make, this is what the quote unquote shadow work really is, is knowing your energy. If you're not a hundred percent clear on what your energy feels like, oh, the example. Okay. Here's my example, right? All the readings that I've done, I've done on myself. And I do them anonymously, just like I do everyone's reading from a, a neutral observer position. And um, I recently, like I said, got a, a, a light language activation with Kat. 
and um when she was preparing for my session <clears throat> when she was preparing for my session she um channeled uh, some of the energies that are assigned to me, some of the people. And so um, now <clears throat> I don't think she's a native to the land. And so this is why she can, um, her, the energy comes through differently for her than it does for me. And so now I can actually translate that. When she channeled in the energy, um, she described it as a warrior and she was the the warrior gave gave me the message which i will give y'all um which is that we learned magic incorrectly and we cannot do magic the way that we were taught we we're doing it wrong we're creating a tremendous amount of trouble for ourselves and for those around us by doing magic incorrectly that was the message that i received through her channeling for me okay and I knew what that meant. I knew exactly what that meant for obvious reasons. And I was like, okay, well, I'm going to cut back on the stuff that I learned from outside sources and only go with the things that I myself channeled directly from St. Philomena and my, and, and my patron saints and the other saints that I've been working with directly from them and the stuff that I uh, back verified through scripture. Okay. That's what I decided to do. But um, that didn't sit with me well. Because I said, well, who was this warrior? Well, she, um, when she channels in the energy, she also asked them if they have a message for her. Um, and this particular um, warrior didn't want, want to give her um, any kind of message. But she was like, no, you want to give me a message. I'm channeling this energy for somebody. You can, you can give me something. And so the warrior told her, I'm surprised you don't know what you're worth. And I was like, hmm, that's interesting. So I sat with that. And I was like, well, what does, what warrior was that? Because I, recently I've been discussing that Mars is the warrior. But now it's no, all of your placements are your warriors. They're your personal army, okay? Your placements. Every spirit intelligence you have in your chart is your personal army this is why we don't need to fight you send your warrior out to do the fighting for you especially when they're active okay and so i thought to myself well which warrior was that that's that's active right now based on the astrology who is that and um or maybe i mine are all warriors and maybe everyone's is not warriors i don't know i won't say that definitively now that i'm thinking about it mine are warriors okay because obviously for obvious reasons my scorpio placements so i was sitting with the message that she got trying to figure out who exactly this was and right now we have Uranus is in Taurus and it's in retrograde. I have Uranus in my second house, which is the Taurus house. And retrograde means that it's closer to you. My native Uranus is not retrograde. But since Uranus is retrograde right now, it is, it, like I said before, that those are the planets that are close to you. It is inspecting the work that has been done to see if things are being done correctly. And what did it find out? I'm doing magic. I don't supposed to do it. I learned it totally wrong. I got to throw it all out, every bit of it, and, and learn it again. So I'm like, wow, man, this is crazy. I'm not all of it, but uh, the stuff that I uh, learned from other people, I have to throw out and um, relearn it in the proper way. So I did, from what the warrior told her, I figured out who it was in my chart and what the energy was and even the why, because I'm also following the astrology. That was my Uranus energy that had come through to her based on what my Uranus in my chart is related to, what it said to her, it lines up. Uranus is in, is in Taurus. I have Uranus in the second house. Uranus is currently in retrograde, so it's close to me. So that's why that energy came forward. 
That's very simple. That's not woo woo out there. That's literally everything that's in my chart, everything that's in the astrology right now, not no advanced astrological degree, just, oh, this planet's retrograde. So it's going to be close. It's going to be coming through in a very um, obvious way. I think it had just gone into retrograde when I got this message. This was several weeks ago. And so, boom, I figured it out. Now, it took me about two weeks to figure that out. But again, it's because I'm very in tune with my own energy. So now I realize, you know, you know, I do channel, but my channeling is from the earth. So it's going to be very practical. My channeling is from the water. So it's going to be very go with the flow, make things easy, not rock the boat, you know, a nice, even type of thing. Oh, okay. That's where my channeling is going to be. Now, if you're a fire person, an air person, you know, you're, you're not native to the land, you're native to other lands, <clears throat> your channeling is going to look different. It's not going to be so practical and down to earth, but me, it's going to be practical and down to earth. It's literally who I am. And so again, once you start realizing how these energies play out it's like oh okay i see what's going on it makes things easier um and it makes it much easier to manifest so instead of me trying to manifest you know money when i need to be manifesting love that doesn't make any sense there's a time for everything you can't do everything all the time that's what the lunar cycle really gets into what you should be doing to maximize the energy that's available for that day very, very important information. So um, I say this to say, there is an easy way to manifest. There's an easy way to ascend. The easiest way to ascend is to know your own energy. The easier, uh, the more you're, the more aware of your energy and how your energy shows up, you can do that thing, lick these spit. So now when I talk to people, when they're talking about certain things, oh, I can go and find it in their chart. Like, oh, this is related to dot, dot, dot. Um, which just made me think of something else. Uh, it's easy. It's easier because I'm very aware of my energy so I can easily identify other people's energy. And this is not something that's exclusive to me. Anybody can have this access, this authority, this possibility, this opportunity. You just have to do the work. It's just required. There's no getting out of doing the work. I know people are looking for, you know, get out of work quick schemes or whatever. But no, the work is you have to know yourself. You have to be aware of your energy. You have to accept your energy. We already talked about that. Every experience made you who you are is not something you should be trying to get rid of. It is who you are. So why would you be getting rid of who you are? That's, again, insanity. So if you know that, you know the energy is assigned to you. You know what energy is assigned to you. And then every year you have a new set of energy assigned to you. Boom. You know what fruit you're going to produce this year. This is how, why, you know, I'm saying, hey, this is going to be a chill year. I'm not, I ain't fighting no battles this year. I don't have to. Now I understand why. Oh, I have a bunch of warriors who are like, you're supposed to be using us. We're supposed to be doing the fighting, not you. Oh, okay, great. That's this year. This wasn't been always, I mean, especially based on my, you know, whatever trees. No, this is just, this is the way it is this year. So, all right, this is what it is. This, this is what getting close to 40 looks like, right? And so um, I just made this video because I wanted to share this information. I want people to get prepared. So that means when I start going into lunar energy in um, next month or whenever, in November, um, if you don't have your chart done, um, you didn't do the work, you know, you have a month, you can do your own chart. If you can't afford my prices, like I said, go back. I talk about exactly how the tarot spiral is there. I talk about exactly how I find all the placements. I've done tons of teaching videos on this. Um, tons of teaching videos. I, I was even surprised how many teaching videos I've done on this. So I've done the teaching videos on this. I'll, maybe I'll put it into a playlist, um, how to do it yourself. Uh, you'll have to go and download the books. Um, internet archive is down right now, but if you send me an email, I'll send you the, um, the PDFs, the free ones I made for everybody. If you want to order the, um, the book from me, um, where I, I print it out and it's spiral bound and you can, um, you can get it. Um, I need to finish updating it first. 
Ooh, it's going to take me a while to update it. Because I want to update it with... Hmm. Well, if you want a digital cop, well, no, let's just go with the free ones. The book is not, I need to update it. You need to go buy, you can go buy Bardone's book. <clears throat> the um, Practice of Magical Evocation. That's got all the spirit intelligences in there with his explanations and all of that. That's where I get the information from. So you can go and buy his book. Or if you want the free PDFs that I made. Um, which I used to, I'm going to, I'm working on updating my book. So, um, it's just not ready yet. So I would either go and get his book go in. Um, if you want the free PDFs, let me know, send me an email, say, I need those PDFs. I'll send you the free PDFs that you can go through. Um, and you can start, you need your chart cast, you know, by professional astrology software. There's, you know, you can get your chart from me. That's like 40 bucks and I'll pull your chart and, and your general, um, whatever. Um, but if you need that kind of stuff, now's the time to do it. When we start studying <clears throat> as a group, this lunar, um, cycle, um, I'm not going to be able to do readings. So this is the time if you need readings to get readings done. Um, if you're already a client, rem remember to, um, remind me when your birthday comes up, um, and for a donation, whatever, I'll cash your progressions chart. Just remind me when your birthday comes up so I can cash your chart. Um, cause I just, I, I can't keep track of everything. Um, but there's many reasons why you need a professional. I just heard a, 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 a person who does, um, astrology kind of like how I do she got the wrong information because I'm guessing she didn't get a professionally cashed chart um, she, has, she didn't have the software so you got to have a professionally cashed chart there's no getting around that there's no getting around that but now is the time to get prepared so now we're laying the foundation anybody who needs a reading my readings are open please send me an email we'll arrange how you pay and all of that um, uh, if it's um, time for you to uh, get your um, people who need progressions charts email me about a month out so that I can do your progressions okay because um, I, I don't want to wait until the last minute to do them you, you need to have it before your birthday so you can properly plan um, just trying to think if there's anything else for people who are interested, you can join the Lunar Working Group. The link is in the bio. It's a Telegram group. I'm going to attempt to do a um, call over the weekend on Sunday, probably, because I want to discuss some um, non-public things that I didn't discuss in this video. Um, so be on the lookout for that if you're in the group. I'm going to try and do more update videos like this. Um, now that the weather is changing and stuff like that, we need to really lay a really strong foundation. So I'm going to do my part for that. Um, you know, um, I'm just trying to make sure that's everything. I don't want to turn this camera off and be like, oh, I forgot the most important thing. So, no, you need to get your reading done. If you want to manifest, you can only manifest if you know yourself. This is why billionaires <clears throat> manifest anything that they want because they know their self and their limitations. Once you know that, you can have anything. You can have whatever you like. That's one of my favorite songs, which is not inappropriate. Not appropriate to be singing, but it is one of my favorite songs. You can have whatever you like if you know your energy. If you don't know your energy, you're not ever going to get nothing. And so do what it takes to know your energy, for sure. Um, so um, peace and blessings. Shalom, everyone. And we'll see you in the next video.